Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 19th, 2023. Well, yesterday, my goodness, what a day. We had um, some bad economic data that started to worry the uh, market. We pushed down, and then we had Fed members out there speaking that pushed us down further with concerns about continued interest rate um, increases. And then the last 45 minutes, 30 minutes of the day, we went from being down to up. The, the Dow rallied over 350 points from low to high in a last minute surge. And that pushed the SPY out of its um, consolidation zone that it's been locked in. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, as we head into the Friday open, we have an interesting market set up. You can see right in here, if we look at the di uh, diamonds, we've kind of got... It, this has been an interesting pattern where we've got kind of that head and shoulders type pattern here showing up in the diamonds. Didn't draw that very well, but... Um, head and shoulders pattern showing up in the diamonds we've been running in this little downtrending pattern right here in the chart and now uh, with the surge of the last two days we're right back up here testing these resistance levels in the chart so if the bulls continue to find um, um, reason to push this up today and they certainly could do that with the excitement that we've had here recently then a retest of this major resistance level up here in the chart would be um, pretty likely a test of that level to see if we can pop through if we are able to pop through there then we're going to start looking a little bit higher right up into here and then of course up there to that high point in the chart to see if we can break through that area there. Um, if the bears were to find inspiration today, well, it would be a little bit painful to um, have this occur after the last two days surge, but that would be the support level right now. Um, if we were to pull back, if we could find reason for those bears to engage. And if they fail through that area, well then, I think we're coming back right back here testing that 50-day moving average again on the diamonds if the bears find that engagement how about we take a look at the spy spy this is a big breakout here for the spy now the question after breaking out is will it hold can it hold we'll have to wait and see if those bulls continue to find inspiration to the upside then our next level up here you can see we're gonna have to stretch this all the way up into here um, it would be that next level um, up in the spy so somewhere in between there where it might be where we would reach out um, to try and seek that new high in the spy if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration now if the bears were to um, can uh, to engage today for some reason then uh, maybe a pullback in here to retest this area of support and that's going to be critical remember it's one thing to break out it's another thing to hold it as support if we can hold it as support that's going to give a lot of um, support to those bulls and a lot of confidence to those bulls that they can continue to push on to the upside however if that were to slip back below here you could see how that could raise a little bit of concern might bring in some profit taking and we might come back and test some of these support levels here in the chart if that support area up there breaks if the bears um, um, really got active, then maybe a pullback into this area could be possible in the chart. Don't see that happening today, but just kind of keep that in mind. If we drop back into this range, boy, that would be pretty disappointing. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ just continues to rip 
to the upside. As a matter of fact, we just soared through this resistance level in the chart. And honestly, I think we're getting so overly extended here in the market, I'd be a little bit concerned. Last night we saw the tech sector in Hong Kong pull back and we're seeing just a little bit of softness in the pre-market on the tech sector. Watch that carefully. We may have kind of overextended our hand here on the bullish side and really stretching those big tech giants to the upside in that huge surge yesterday. So watch that closely. At any point in time, we could see some kind of a rest or pullback in here. Now, if we just rest and pull back, then I would look for this resting area right in here to hold that support area. That's where we need to go. If we continue to surge to the upside, I, I want you to just notice we're going parabolic here in this move and it could be a little bit of over exuberance going on in the market but if that occurs maybe we press up here into that next level um, above in the chart and it's certainly possible the the way we are so exuberant in this move right now um, mostly led by the t just a handful of tech giants and I'll show you what I mean on that here in just a bit if um, if those bears really got active here and we were to break that support in the chart and I'm, I'm not suggesting that's going to occur but if we were to break that support pull in a pullback then I would look for that possibility that that, um, we might have to come all the way back down here to test support again so kind of keep that in mind if we take a look at our IWM well our IWM had a good surge the last couple of days trying to push on up here this morning we're breaking that downtrend here and again that is a good sign what we want to see is that now proof to hold a higher low um, it's one thing to break out again. It's another thing, um, and we've seen this so many times in the market here recently, where we'll break out and then completely reverse and go back to the downside. So be careful here. Remember, we still have a massive area resistance above here in IWM. And not only that, we're, we're, we're crossed back up over our 50-day moving average. That's nice. But we've got our 200-day moving average up there as well, providing some of that resistance. So we're starting to show a little bit of sign of bullishness here in IWM. Let's see if that um, holds up here or if that whipsaws and reverses again if the bulls find inspiration well we're going to look up here we're going to see if we can test that resistance level in the chart if the bears find inspiration well we'll come back down in here and see if we can find some support in that chart so watch that closely let's take a look at our um, vix here our VIX, interesting, um, um, Lee enough, it, it struggled um, yesterday to break down this support here um, in that chart. But at the end of the day, I, we just surged like crazy into the end of the day yesterday with everyone piling on. So watch that carefully here if breaking this support. Um, remember, we can drop on down into this level here. And I would suggest as we drop down into here, we are really starting to uh, look at complacency, considering the weakness of the economic numbers that we're seeing out there, just tremendous complacency if that were to occur. So watch that carefully. If the bulls were to find um, inspiration, that's where we might go. If the bears find inspiration, well, maybe we end up staying stuck. We bounce back up and we stay stuck in this range here in the chart. If we were to take a look at our T2122, this is what was really interesting yesterday. With that massive surge at the end of the day, we finally turned T2122 up. The entire day, except for the last 30 minutes, T2122 was flat or even hooked lower on the day even as we were surging back up and we saw those bulls now so watching this here if the bulls can continue to find inspiration well let's look up here we certainly have upside opportunity and right now the momentum is with the bulls to push this on higher to reach up there into that um uh, bearish reversal zone so the good news here i think is we finally broke this little downtrend here if you're bullish then you've got a little bit of hope there that we're going to continue to make that push to the upside 
Friday's a good day for that to occur, so watch that carefully. If the bears, however, were to find inspiration, well, let's keep in mind that we certainly have plenty of opportunity to move to the downside if they find some inspiration today. And there may be some reasons that they could today, so we'll talk about that in just a second. Let's take a look at our T2108. Interestingly enough, T2108, the percentage of stocks that moved above the 40-day moving average, and this is why I keep saying only a handful of stocks are doing the majority of the lifting and they are the tech giants out there lifting the market if you'll notice here the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average barely changed yesterday we're about 45 and a half percent of the stocks above their 40-day moving average we continue to be stuck in this area we're continuing to wind up now this last couple of days may be just enough to push us out of this today but you'll want to watch that closely because it seems odd to me that with that big surge the last couple of days we really haven't improved the number of stocks above the 40-day moving average seems kind of odd to me so watch that carefully and then if we look at our t2107 the percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average notice that it barely improved yesterday um, 70 or excuse me 40 41 percent of the stocks above the 200 day moving average now if you by looking at those indexes you wouldn't think that that is the case um, that looking at the average indexes you would have seen uh, thought that everything all the internals everything was moving up not the case so it's kind of an odd circumstance i'm not exactly sure what this means um, it, it it could potentially mean that we're over exuberant and we should expect some kind of substantial pullback it could mean that there's kind of an underlying hidden uh, move in here that could suddenly um, spike up and create a big short squeeze i'm not sure one thing um, um, i have to continue to point out is this big head and shoulders pattern is a little bit on the ominous side here um, in that chart so watch that closely we're just not gaining a whole lot of ground on some of these internals even though we're stretching the markets up with just that handful of stocks making the biggest part of the move and you know one of the reasons that occurs is because apple and microsoft are in the diamond spy and the qqq and then of course the spy has a huge number of the big tech giants in there which dominate the index and um, just microsoft and apple dominate the Dow so you can see how you can just have a handful of stocks pushing really big their weighted averages remember and we could push those indexes higher with those big tech giants while everything else maybe not be showing us all that much excitement so be kind of careful there um, let's take a look at our um, uh, T2101 T2101 whipsawed once again so we hooked again here on T2101 very interesting how we've been in this uh, choppy range um, very difficult to understand what the IS is showing us. Perhaps this means that we're going to get follow through excitement to the upside today. Or it could also say, well, we just every day we're whipsawing. Maybe this whipsaws back to the other side as well. So uh, just be careful. Um, don't over trade this market and be prepared for whipsaws. Um, and they could be substantial whipsaws, so watch carefully for that. If we were to take a look at our economic calendar for today, well, we don't have, um, um, whoops, or, uh, we don't have a lot as far as economic reports today on the calendar, but we do have an interesting day setting up because with all of the conversation that we've had recently from the Fed that continues to remain very hawkish with one of them yesterday saying seeing no reason for them to pause or um, 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 actually saying that there's reason to continue to raise rates um, and the data yesterday kind of gave us that with um, jobless claims coming in hotter than expected so today we've got Williams, uh, Bauman speaking, 
And then um, we're going to have Jerome Powell here at um, 11 a.m. Eastern. So it, it's probably going to be uh, the Fed speakers and how they come off that will dominate the day um, and the attitude of the day, that sentiment of the day. So kind of be a little bit watchful and careful of that as we progress um, throughout the morning here with those Fed speakers. And of course, we know Jerome Powell has the power to move the market dramatically. So it all depends on how he sounds today, um, what the market will, um, what the market could react to. So watch that close. Um, if we were to take a look um, at our earnings calendar today, well, there's really only two notable earnings for today. Uh, first off, uh, John Deere, and Deere is moving up this morning. Popped up, a little pullback after, um, uh, I guess, after the conference call, pulling back here a little bit, and you can see little bit of price resistance there this has been struggling in this downtrend this could change that dramatically and of course John Deere has a pretty heavy weighting in the Dow so that could certainly help the the Dow Jones today so watch that closely and then Foot Locker well Foot Locker oof my goodness uh, fallen off a cliff here on Foot Locker um, breaking trend um, not looking good again this kind of points to that consumer weakness that we're seeing and we're hearing in a lot of these reports. Um, and even even the Philly Fed uh, report yesterday suggesting that the consensus of businesses is they believe inflation is going to go yet higher and because their costs are continuing to go up. So um, not, the, not the best of circumstances there for the consumer if that were the case. So watch that closely. And you can see how that, if we suddenly decide to focus on that here in the market, how that could radically change the market direction really fast. So be careful. Let's take a look at our uh, at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you can click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that quick favor, and that's also click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much to everyone who does do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, I know the viewership of the videos really drop off on Friday for some reason, but for those of you out there that are continuing to watch, if you could um, help that, help me out on that, I would truly appreciate it. Let's take a look. Um, at some stocks that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any securities. As a matter of fact, you're gonna need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in this market. And once again, I'm gonna say this, watch carefully for potential whipsaws. Um, let's take a look at NVIDIA. My goodness, NVIDIA surging to the upside. The PE ratio on this stock is unbelievably overbought. Yet at the same time, I think there's a really good chance that NVIDIA could continue this rally to the upside into that earnings report next week on Wednesday. So watch that closely. Um, this has been quite a surge to the upside in NVIDIA. So, um, and, and it's all based on the hope and kind of the hype on um, AI chips. So watch that carefully um, as we stretch on up to the upside. Um, take a look at Wayfair. Wayfair, um, breaking through an alert that I had here on the chart, looking bullish and um, trying to move on up. Nice two day surge to the upside. Could certainly be looking to move on higher here as you can see that nice little upside trend trying to work its way um, to pushing through to some more upside. Now with this being a retailer, you do have to be a little bit careful with the ideas of recession and the thought of um, um, the slowing that we're starting to see in the economy um, 
so just be kind of careful here as well. We might also want to take a look at Carvana. Carvana, nice little upside move here, making that higher low, breaking out yesterday, kind of pulling back by the end of the day and resting back. But I would keep a close eye on that. If that continues that move, I would look for that to potentially um, um, head on through to the upside. Um, interestingly enough, there was some stocks. Um, take a look at EQT. EQT is an oil and energy stock and as we continue to see um, oil stocks being negatively affected by um, the rising dollar um, interestingly enough there are just a few out there showing lots of bullishness take a look at that EQT just rushing to the upside here big pop moving on up so keep an eye on um, EQT nice move yesterday little rest or pullback would set up an opportunity you might also want to take a look at some of the natural gas plays out there UNG now I happen to have a bias on this I am holding um, UNG and I'm holding this for a longer term trade um, nice profit in this trade already surge hard yesterday I would look for some kind of rest or pullback in this soon um, notice that we just cracked through that 50-day moving average yesterday so it wouldn't be odd at all if this rests back into that 50-day moving average consolidates a little bit but then I'd be looking to add to this trade so um, that's kind of my thought process on it uh, thinking about adding to this position and I want to just point out if if natural gas only comes back halfway it's gonna be a huge upside win over a longer period of time if it just comes back halfway so keep an eye on that I think there's some some substantial money that could be made on natural gas here moving forward so watch that closely you can also look at um, uh, boil boil would be another one of those where you could take advantage of that natural gas now boil being an ultra meaning that it is um, leveraged um, two times it's trying to break through that 50-day moving average as well I think that's worth taking a look at um, other places well you know it's pretty impossible to look at the market yesterday and not see big tech all over the place take a look at Apple Apple beautiful breakout here this is what we call a pop out of the box nice little consolidating move here in Apple stretching to the upside here yesterday with a big surge and um, there's every reason to believe that could continue to surge to the upside here so keep an eye on Apple Microsoft Microsoft continuing to surge to the upside now I would say that Microsoft is becoming a little bit overbaked here um, pressing a resistance level in the chart I would start looking for a consolidation a rest or a pullback here in Microsoft it might be getting just a little bit too parabolic on on that move so keep a close eye on that um, you might also want to take a look at AMD AMD very very strong remember this had a, a bad earnings report we moved lower and then the next day there was the reveal that there was a collaboration between Microsoft and AMD to really reverse this stock to the upside so um, <laughs> you know I guess when we're collaborating on AI nowadays um, um, earnings don't matter um, and watching that closely you can see that we're moving to the upside here um, just in a in, in a breakneck pace um, any rest or pullback that holds this support level in the chart I think could set up an upside opportunity now I would point out that that trend right there is so steep it's unlikely that can be sustained for very long but a rest or pullback in here that kind of holds on to that support could establish that new upside trend so kind of keep an eye on AMD so with that guys hey I'm gonna cut this off here I'm running a little bit long I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading and more importantly a wonderful restful weekend for everyone be careful out there everyone be safe and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning wishing you all of the best.